G'day, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza, and this is the first of our new video interview series where, in this episode, I'm interviewing the very talented James Bowman, aka Donkey's Bazooka. He's been nominated for several Newgrounds Tank Award. He is a talented animator and voice actor with a unique visual style and fantastic animation quality. How are you, James? I couldn't be better, Jazza. Jazza? Or is it Joss? Whatever you want. Cool. So what is your full name? Wait, do you want my middle name? Yeah. James Paul Bowman. So James, where are you from? I am from Syracuse, New York. Fantastic. Yeah. And your background as an artist, how did you start doing what you're doing? I've been drawing uh, since I was like three. I mean, for as long as I can remember, really. I mean, I've, that's just... I drew things. I did comic books initially and then. Uh -huh. And then... Uh, as you know, I picked I like picked up animation just because it was another means to tell stories. So, how old and, were you when you first animated? And I'm assuming you first animated in Flash, is that correct? No, uh, actually, no. the first. I mean, ever you know, people start. I did a, like flip books. That's what I'm still yep. considering animation, like on sticky notepads or whatever. Yeah. And then I figured, hey, I can do this digitally by using this like GIF animation software. Oh, okay. So I did like little stick figures with that kind of thing. Cool. And uh, how old were you around that age? Let's see. Flipbook started in like sixth grade, so I was you know oh, wow. eleven. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then moved on to digital. I was like thirteen, I think. And then I didn't actually start Flash until I was like eighteen. I had original. I had uh, tried using it before, but I'm like, yeah, I don't get this. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. And then I just picked it up like a year later, and I'm like, oh, I suddenly know what I'm doing, and I've just stuck with it ever since. For you, was there a moment where you realized uh, that you wanted to do this for a living, or do you wanted to do more with this animation or this art sort of thing? I mean, as I said, I've always kind of done it, so I just kind of assumed I'd stick with it. Yeah. But there were periods where, I, even though I, I'm, I've always been drawing and animating and that kind of thing as like a hobby, mm -hmm. um, there were periods where I was like, this is only temporary. Like I'm, I, because what I really want to do is have other people animate the stuff that I want to write. You know, I want yeah. people to do stuff for me because I got stories I want to tell, and this is just the means in which I do that. So, do um, you see yourself as an animator who writes or a writer who animates? Unfortunately, at this point, that's an interesting question. At this point, I am uh, an animator who writes. I would like to be the other way around. Right, I hear that. Right now, I spend way more time animating than I do writing. Uh huh. So, like how would you describe your art style, your animation style? Um, I can say my strongest influence actually was Ed, Ed and Eddie, and I'm saying okay. the third, the third season and beyond. Like yeah. that was the first cartoon where I actually I'd recorded with, um, with my VCR um, oh. episodes of the thing and then slowed it down and actually went through frame by frame to watch it in slow motion and that where I was like oh I, yeah. I, that I loved like like the in-betweens um, the positions that the, that the artist drew these characters in you don't see it when it's moving then when you slow it down and that just fascinated me and I I now try very hard to replicate and I specifically say the third season and beyond because it was pretty rough, and that's why when I tell people Ed, Ed, and Eddie, they're like, really? But you really look. Like, it, it really picked up, like, steam at the end of the third season. So what so far has been your most successful work? It's most successful so far is that Gone Too Far 2. It's like a music video for Rockapella's Zombie Jamboree, which I did for the Newgrounds Halloween flash-off. That on Newgrounds, I mean, because I never uploaded it to YouTube. I, it's got like I think six hundred thousand views on Newgrounds. Wow! Nice. Um, because I, I never uploaded it to YouTube though, because I never like got permission to use that song. Yeah, it's copyrighted and that I kind of thing. I think you could get away with it, man. Just, just yeah, don't I mean, tell the owners. Because other people have uploaded the Flash. There, it's like on YouTube Seriously. in three different places, but it's <sighs> not on my. Channel, so. And I'm like. Man. At this point, I just like I just abandoned all rights to it. Oh well, I didn't like. That sucks. Okay, well that's been your most successful work. What work would you say you're most proud of in terms of you know what you've accomplished and and how it's become what you wanted it to be? Okay, uh, that would be in addition to Gone Too Far too. Uh, I would say episode two of Villainy, the my web series that I'm working on, which I can't possibly make as quickly as I want to. Mm -hmm. um, that is where I really feel like I nailed down the art style I was looking for there. I'm very proud of a lot of sequences of animation in there. Yeah, it's and very polished. 
very bad. Yeah, like, and that's that's part of the insanity of how, like, how much effort I put into making sure all the lines are perfectly smooth and they're the right thickness and all that kind of thing. Stuff that no one else is going to care about. Yeah. Um, because I have such a... I put so much effort into that kind of thing. Yeah. I at least know that that's my best work, even though other people can't see it. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, so what inspires you? What do you use to get your juices flowing? I've been asked that before, and the answer is I never really lose inspiration. Um, I don't really need to find inspiration places because I always have stories that I want to tell. So you and... find your inspiration through the work as you do it. Yeah, pretty much. Like, as I'm working, I know there's a ton of things that I want to eventually get to, so when I'm able to finally complete something, I can just move right on to the next one. I never really... even and After I finish a cartoon, though, or something, I'm just, like, so drained and exhausted. I'm happy to be done with it. Yep. And I'm like, I'm going to take a break now. But the break ends up only being, like, a day, because it's like... I just uh, want to get back to work, unfortunately. Definitely. <laughs> So James, I met you in person for the first time in 2011 because you were nominated for the 2010 Tank Award uh, for Best Animation for Gone Too Far 2. So how was that experience for you, meeting uh, these people on Newgrounds that you've seen their work and, and uh, you know, being in that environment in person and meeting some of those people, how was that? Um, <laughs> two answers. One, very inspiring. Like, I've never been to anything like that before where, I mean, all these people that I know just from the internet who create things that I love and I'm like actually getting to meet them in person to put a face mm. to the cartoon that you admire so much and then really when I left at the end of that weekend I was like so jazzed to yeah. get back to work and like start creating stuff and um, that it was very inspiring uh, I love doing that it was, it's a shame I didn't get to go this past year answer number two I made a terrible first impression on everybody <laughs> was that because I uh, didn't sleep like for like two days prior to dr the we, drive like, down. Jaded there. and like. Uh... Yeah, my brain, my brain was just malfunctioning completely. Really? Like I remember, like, like I mean, like talked to like Harry Partridge there, and he like asked me. So like, um, he asked me like just a question, you know, like, do you do on uh, thirty frames per second or twenty? And I'm just like, thirty frames per second. He asked me some other question, and I started the sentence. And then I ended the sentence like this. I was like, so, and then there, that's that's the end of the sentence. And then he just stared at me, and I'm like... <laughs> anyway, it was just tons of interactions like that. Also, I, I definitely... I, I upset so many people. It was a bad experience yeah. in that regard. So, James, what is your favorite color? Favorite color is red. What is your favorite food? I like snickerdoodles. What is your favorite smell? Uh, snickerdoodles. What is your favorite sound? The opposite of the child that lives below me crying. If you were unable to do what you're doing right now or what your goals are for the future with, you know, villainy and animation and everything, what would you be doing right now instead? Okay, uh, I would like to exclusively write, actually. If art was not a factor, I would like uh, probably writing for animation. But if I wasn't capable of doing the animation, I would still want to be writing. So if you could do a dream project where there was no limitation with money or time or anything like that and it could be a physical thing it could be you know this is like the 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 big opus that represented your life's work what is this giant dream project well i hate to keep coming back to it but uh i really want this villainy to be a tv v series we got so many ideas for it we just need the time to tell them and the resources in order to produce them and really i want to do a musical episode i i want to write a musical Oh, well, we'll get to that someday, maybe. So finally, what can we look forward to seeing from you in the future? What are you working on at the moment? Okay, well, I actually just recently got hired by Machinima to be their full-time animator, so there's going to be at least one cartoon for them, their happy hour channel, coming out once a month. And in my spare time, I got the rest of this villainy series I want to tell, or, you know, finish, so there'll be that. Fantastic. Thank you very much for joining us for our very first interview on Draw with Jazza. Everyone can check out his work by going to donkeysbazooka.newgrounds.com. The link is in the description. And uh, thank you once again for joining us, James. Thank you. And until next time, see you later.